Hey guys, Ored928 here, and we're going to continue with our uh, series of creepypasta readings. Now we're going to do a really, really good one, in my opinion, uh, called Eyeless Jack. Now let's begin. Hello, my name is Mitch, and I'm here to tell you about an experience I had. I don't know if it was paranormal or whatever stupid words people use to describe par par supernatural phenomenon, but that thing that visited me, visited me. I believe in that paranormal trash now. A week after I moved into my, in with my brother Edwin, after my house was foreclosed, I finished unpacking. Edwin liked the idea of me moving in, since we had not seen each other and other after ten years, so I was expe excited too. I soon fell asleep after I moved in. After that one week, I heard rustling noises coming from outside. At about one in the morning, I thought it was a raccoon, so I ignored it and tried to fall asleep. The next morning, I told Edwin about it, and he agreed. The next night, however, I thought I heard my window opening and a loud thump, as if something entered my room. I darted up and looked around my room, but I saw nothing. The next morning, Edwin dropped his coffee cup when he uh, saw me. He held up a nearby mirror, and I saw myself. I had a large gash on my cheek. After I was rushed to the hospital, my doctor told me that I must have been sleepwalking, but then he showed me something that made my blood turn cold. He lifted up my shirt and revealed a sewn-up incision where my kidneys were. I stared in his eyes, my eyes widening. You somehow lost your left kidney last night. We don't know how, though. Sorry, Mitch. My doctor told me, the next night was my breaking point. Around midnight, I woke up to see a truly horrifying sight. I saw staring face to face with a creature with a black hoodie and a dark blue mask with no nose or mouth staring down at me. The thing that scared me the most is that it had no eyes, just empty black sockets. The creature also had some black substance dripping from his sockets. I grabbed my camera nearby on a mantle and took a picture. After the picture took, the creature lunged at me and tried to claw open my chest to get my lungs. I stopped it by kicking it in the face. As I ran out of my room, I grabbed my wallet. I would need money. And I ran out of my brother's house into the night. Eventually, I ended up in the woods near Edwin's house and tripped on a rock. I fell unconscious, but I woke up in the hospital. My doctor entered the room, the same one that treated me before. I have good news and bad news, Mitch, my doctor started. The good news is that you had minor injuries and your parents are coming to pick you up. I sighed with relief. The bad news is, is that your brother has been killed by something. Sorry. My parents took me back to Edwin's house to collect my remaining belongings, which I did. Upon entering my room, I was scared, but remained calm. I grabbed my camera, then stopped dead in my tracks. In the hallway leading to my room, I saw Edwin's body and something small lying next to it. I picked up the small thing and entered my parents' car, not mentioning Edwin's corpse. I looked at the thing I had picked up and nearly vomited. I was holding my stolen, half-eaten kidney with some black substance on it. Well, now, wasn't that a really good one? I thought it was really good. Now, uh... Again, the creepypasta is called Eyeless Jack. And I think it's, uh, so far, all the creepypastas I've read, the best one out of everything, compared to, you know, the other two I've done, Je Jeff the Killer and the Rake. Because those, I didn't read word for word, and I was just doing a little summary of it, and I didn't exactly do it the best way. Uh, that it could have been done. But now, uh, I think I've done this a lot better than I have for those. And, uh, yeah. Uh, that's gonna be all for this time. I am Ord928, and I'll see you guys later.